Hi guys, today um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be fitting a lowering link to my 2020 KTM 690. Um, this is the easiest way to do it DIY, you can do it yourself, it means you can get your lower your bike and if you wanted to sell your bike later on then it's the easiest way to return it back to standard. If you did this by a professional where they, you get it professionally lowered then I think doing it this way is roughly around about half that price. Um, you would obviously, if you needed to return your bike back to standard height or whatever, to sell it on, then you'd need to pay a professional obviously to put it back. So you can do this yourself. It's a DIY, it's the easiest way to do it. The um, link I'm going to be using is this one from Rally Raid Products. Uh, product number is RRP525. It's for the uh, 69701. It cost me approximately 180 pounds, which is roughly around about 243 US dollars. Um, it's going to drop the bike by 25 mil, so an inch, roughly about an inch. Um, we can see what it's like at the end of it. Um, obviously, to do it, you need to remove both foot peg hangers uh, complete. Uh, you need either a 19 mil and a 10 mil, or you can do it via Torx, which is a T50 Torx and a T40 Torx. You need to remove the bash plate, jack your bike up so you can get both wheels off the ground. Um... I did notice to get into the lower one so you need to use a little socket set that can get in there so this is a 10 mil bolt to remove this hanger That's what you're trying to get to. You're trying to get to that 10 mil nut there, 10 mil bolt rather there. So, let's remove these two. Do the same on the other side. Let's just free loosen these off. this side it's just in there that you need to get into you get to get to that 10 mil there so let's progress on and we just need to these two bolts let's just hold this part of the link on see that's there that should be okay now and I'm just gonna remove the larger nut and bolt just on this side. That's the next job. I've had to do is uh, use a bit of a drift to 
to get this one out here. Bit of a drift in there to just drift that shaft through to the other side. I'll come over here and see. That's the shaft out the side there. So hopefully with a bit of luck, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So that's the shaft out. And there's the standard link out. So yeah, let's look to uh, get the new one in. There's the uh, standard KTM one top standard KTM link on the top and a uh, rally raid link below it as you can see it's definitely longer CNC machined so it's quite nice um, I've got to this point in the video where I suddenly realized I haven't taken any measurements so uh, I'm hoping this comes out all right I'll, I'll certainly note the difference myself so it is what it is <laughs> I've come this far <laughs> no going back now, so sorry about that. Okay. Just gently tap this shaft back in. Don't want to feel any resistance at all. Because I did put the uh, bolt back on, I'm going to now take that bolt off again because I didn't want to damage any of the threads inside. Forceful at all. Just Somehow, on my own, I've got to lift this wheel to get this bolt through there. So, I'm gonna try my damnedest to get this bolt back again. I'm gonna try and do this by myself. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I'm hoping to be able to do it myself. I can just get my hand underneath. I don't know if I can lift the wheel up enough to start it off. Okay. So. There we go. We're partially there. There we go. Sorted. I can't believe it. I've managed to do it. <laughs> okay, I've just nipped up that this bolt here. So I'm just going to check the torque value, which is meant to be 60 newton meters. So that's that's torque value. The two other small ones just in there. I did them at 20 newton meters. So I think we're good to go. We're uh, all complete, it's in there, nice. Done, not too bad a job, wasn't too difficult. So we've just got the forks to do and to put everything back together. So let's just get on and do that. So with everything talked back up again, I'm now onto the forks. Um, Got the forks through the yokes. Just going to do the other one now. The 
we just need to obviously get this fork the same height as the other one. You can see the difference in the height. So let's try and do that. I've now dropped my forks through the oaks to compensate for the uh, drop at the back of the bike. Uh, I've torqued all the nuts back up, so just a case of putting in the wheel again and seeing how it feels from there. So I've just come back from uh, a ride out. Um, the bike doesn't feel any different geometry wise. It still feels exactly like it did before. Um, but the change is very noticeable. Um, even just slinging my leg over the bike is easier. Coming to road junctions, easily can put a foot down. So I'm really pleased with the effect. Um, I'm pretty sorry that I didn't get round to taking any measurements. It would have been good to see what the actual difference was. But um, it is what it is, as they say. So I'll be glad to see what it's like out when I get out trail riding. I'm sure it's going to feel a lot more easier. Um, this is the first time I've done one of these uh, kind of how-to videos, so I hope it's going to be of some use to somebody out there. Um, I really enjoyed doing it, so I may do some more in the future. So thanks for watching, if you've watched till now. Cheers. Bye.